Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another video here on the Poker Staples channel. Today I am doing something a little bit different than the normal stream highlights or spin and goes. The first time I've ever played one of these and it is a new format called Spin and Go Max. How does it work? Well, I don't really know exactly. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the lobby here. Um, so there's there's four buy-in options right now. One, three, seven, and fifteen. Um, so spin and go max, the number of players are randomly selected between three and eight, so it's not like a normal spin and go, where it's always gonna be three, it could be up to eight people you're playing, which is kind of interesting, add some variation, I like that. Potential prizes are revealed before the game starts. If no winner is decided within a specific number of hands, all remaining players go all in. The last player standing gets to pick the prize or take a cash out, if available. Depending on the award structure, more than one player may be paid. Uh, so there's the full information in the tournament details, and... Let's give it a go. All right, I'm gonna start with the $15 level here. My first ever spin and go max, oh my God. Okay, all right. We're playing seven-handed. And one of these three prizes. 95, 50, 95, damn, dude. All right, so we get three X. Or what is that? 15, 30, 60, 90, seven X. 3x3x7x. Three, three, okay, it's not bad. And the total allotted hands is 18 hands. That's not very many hands. We only have 18 hands. Yo, what's up? Hey, hey. Love your videos, man. You're in one right now. <laughs> Alright, we have a friend of the stream here in our Spin and Go Max. So I've, I've heard a little bit about this format before it started and there's obviously been lots of talk about it on the forums um i find it very interesting so you have to separate two things one is the price to play the tournament right which is the rake how successful can you be in this format given the rake which i believe is like eight or nine percent time will tell you know uh it seems pretty decently high to me i'm worried about it but uh perhaps it's beatable enough in that you know there's more hands uh in the bigger spins or people are making big mistakes time will tell right so putting that aside as i'm gonna wait to hear from really good players to see how they're doing just the pure format i think is great i think it's so much more exciting than a normal spin and go um we're going to fold our queen seven because one it's a variation between three and eight players so you're going to place you know some amount of players in between there right you get three potential prizes, which makes an interesting sort of sweat. Like, what if one of those was like $100,000 or something, right? And even though we're only going to win the 100K one in three times, it just adds more excitement continually. Um, and the whole buyout option, which I would never take because you're giving up EV, but like, that's cool. Um, and the all in at the end of the thing, again, putting price aside, is a fun, like, climactic end to the tournament. So. Time will tell as to whether this could be a format that people play as a profession, but in terms of entertainment as a game, I'm really excited to see how it develops. Um, and being a content producer for poker, right, and making poker videos, there really is a separation between those two things, right? Uh, pokertainment and poker as a profession. And we've seen more of a separation in those uh, over the coming years. We have to fold here, uh, raise the queen jack, we can't call it off, so we fold. Um, okay, ace 10, ace king. Oh no! Tataris, friend of the stream! Give him the 10, Dottie! Jack for the chop, maybe? How about a 10 ball? How about a little, little 10 ball? Uh, GG, Tataris, GG. PCD will take it down. Which, if we get to the end of these 13 hands, which we probably will, um, increases our chances of winning. Or does it? Because we don't have the chips. But it must, right? It must increase our chances. I don't know. It's new. All right, blinds are up to 20 and 40 here. We pick up 10s. All right, this is going to be our moment. Why do I not have four colored? Why do I have these cards on? That's weird. Don't be weird, man. There we go. All right, Lax. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just going to put it all in. If I had aces or something, I'd probably make it like 120 here. But I think 10s are too vulnerable to want to slow play too much. So I'm going to shove, take down ships onto the next spot. Uh, eight deuce offsuit folding. Really bad hand. We have 10 hands left. Five fours is going to be a fold. So what I'm curious about knowing, and maybe some of you will know this, and it was my initial thought when I heard about this format coming out and the maximum amount of hands, was how many hands does a normal spinning go take? 
So if there's any spinning go pros out there um, that have like a big database of spinning goes, how many hands is the average spinning go? I don't know the answer. Um, so leave a comment down below and let me know. Because people are definitely crushing normal spinning goes. There's a lot of people that are making quite a lot of money at those. Um, but I don't know if the maximum amount of hands in this spin and go max format makes it different. I'm not sure. Pull the deuce three. The blinds do increase faster here, it seems. 30, 60. So we're going to go through the blinds once. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to be in the big blind the last hand of the tournament. Which has some relevance, I guess. I'm not sure how the all-in works. Again, this is the first time I've ever played one of these things. Again, there is two prizes. 95, 50, and 95, I believe, is what the prizes were, right? 95, 50, 95. Second place gets 40 bucks? I didn't know second got some months. Let's go. Second place gets 40 bucks. Okay. Let's see what we got. King, queen. Okay. I think we're going to be calling this one off here. So much shoves. I'm pretty happy to go with it. Top two pay. We're six-handed. Five big blinds deep. I'm ready to roll. Against King-10, we're doing pretty well. 960 chips in the middle. Can we hold it against the King-10, though? Great start with the Queen. Dodge it. The Jack, that is, dodging the Jack. Let's go. 960 chips. We take the lead of our first ever spin and go max. And uh, let's keep it rolling. Okay. Jack-3, blind versus blind. Going to fold now. Mitzkan moves all in. Four hands remaining. By the way, when I said I was going to end in the big blind, that would be assuming that people don't bust. If people bust, I could be further on. So min raise and a call. Uh, we're going to put the money in. I'm slightly worried this is a slow play. Like, what are you min raising off? You have 400 chips, man, you know? But I still think we should do this. Queen 10 ace jack queens. Gotta dodge a lot. Dodging. Deuce! Hey! Let's go. All right, we have 1,600 chips. We're four-handed. We have a pretty significant lead right now, but it's unlikely that we're going to win the tournament in the next three hands. So we're probably going to have that all-in situation. But again, the prize is started with seven people. We're going to be flipping with four people. Ace, king, king, three. That's a three. Damn. Damn, are we three-handed? I think we're three-handed. Three-handed play with three hands, two hands remaining. We have pocket fours. Let's go for the win. Let's go for the win, you guys. We're all in. Okay, nice. Last hand before all in mode. King three suited. Do we shove? God, let's do it. No, we get a call. Uh, against ace deuce, all right. I mean, I guess that's a pretty good hand to be up against, all things considered. Need a king or a three non-spade, yeah, doesn't doesn't gonna happen. So now we're in second place, and no hands remaining, so we gotta move all in here, I guess. Okay, I like the animation, it's fire. Oh no, get there. Oh, uh, get there. Oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> PCDJ takes it. Oh, side pot, side pot, side pot. Okay, there's a second place prize here. What's gonna happen? Six, six, five. Oh no. Okay, I think we get third place. Yeah, we do, because we were shorter. We were shorter when that happened. Okay, we can watch the prizes. 95, 95, 50, let's see what PCD gets here. Oh, there it is, boom. Nice. Um, so there we go. That was my first spin and go max. I got third place. I bubbled, man. I bubbled the tournament. <laughs> I'm going to play a few more of these, you guys. I think I'm going to record another one right now. So I'm going to leave you be on this video. Let me know what you think. Once again, I know there's a lot of controversy about this. A lot of my colleagues as professional poker players see formats like this, and, and I'm a professional poker player too, um, see the listed rake, and it's like, I don't know if I can beat that and get angry at it. Um, right? And... Listen, this is not going to be a format that I'm grinding as a professional poker player if it turns out that the games are too hard to, to beat with the rake, you know? Um, but putting rake aside, because we don't know the answer as to how profitable people are, are yet, there's no way you can know except for testing. Um, putting that aside, I think the actual format is pretty fire. So if you're going to leave some feedback, which I expect, separate it into two, okay? That would be, uh, that would be helpful. Okay.
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it or if you disliked it, just for both. Let's just go all positive on this one. That's unrealistic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Till the next video. We'll see you later.